Detroit, baby. We out here. You see what's going on. We aggravated. We ain't playing no games. And that, uh, man, one thing about it, bro, me and you, we, we got a past. We did time together. I've always been a humble nigga, bro. I, sure. Even when we was locked up, I ain't tell niggas who I was and none sure. of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I just come from a background where my background is where the the main nigga never supposed to be the, the nigga on the scene. Like, I was raised like, if you getting the most money, they gonna know you get money. You ain't gotta be up front. Like the main nigga usually played the background. How I grew up, like the main nigga, you wouldn't even know he the main nigga. Like, like nigga funding all this whole shit. He ain't trying to steal y'all shine. He in the back. You know that's what I'm saying? So that's how I was raised. Like it's always somebody doing better than you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just a humble ass nigga. I'm gonna pop my shit in some songs, but if you get to know me, I don't even be on that shit. No, nah, real talk, and mm -hmm. I can definitely vouch for that. Um, you know, like you said, just uh spending that time, you feel me in there, bro. Like you uh you always remain humble, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But you was still yourself. Yeah, yeah. Still a chilling. good deal. Yeah, with you, you know what I mean? Talk, still talk my crack my jokes, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Uh and so if you can just leading up into that, like, um, of course you ain't gotta go into details, but um you talked a little bit about that on premium denim. Mm -hmm. Um and if you could just kind of, you know, go into it a little bit about what led up to that situation and how you, you know what I mean, end mm -hmm. up getting your time. Just a, a, I was just put in a bold situation, you know what I'm saying, dealing with somebody and uh, me reacting off my motherfucking emotions and I did some shit and I think it out, you know what I'm saying, you know how okay. niggas will do some shit when you're supposed to think it out and plan some shit, but I did some shit acting off my emotions spur of the moment and came back to bite me in the ass, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. What was that What was that like uh, And when when it was time for you to go? Fucked up because at the end of the day, once I thought about it, like I ain't really hurt nobody but my family because I was down there like supportive, like like they down there needed me, you know what I'm saying? And then I, had, I just had a kid and shit. Dylan had just came, so. It was fucked up that I had to lead them and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy I ain't had to do a lot of time. Yeah, most definitely. But like, but it's sad to say, it's a lot of niggas I feel like should do some time because it'll humble you. That that experience, it wasn't all that bad for me because I mean I was away from my family and shit, but it wasn't bad for me. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I needed that shit to put me on the right track because you can get snatched up by this bitch and have to do some real time no, behind sure. a, a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Real like talk. so. What, nigga, nigga got another move. What was the biggest lesson that you got out of, you know what I mean? Man, my biggest lesson time? is think before you act, bro. Like, that, I, I'm a strong believer, like, you got to think before you act, bro. I never act off emotions no more. Anything that I do, anything, nigga, music, anything, I'm going to sit and think it out first. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it strategic. I'm going to plan it out and then do it. Most definitely. So, um... You know, they say it's only two days you remember, the one you go in and the one you come out. What was that? That's, That's bullshit. bullshit. I remember yeah, every day up. in that motherfucker, dog, because I had some good days and bad days. No, nah, real tough. You feel me? Like, but I get it. What was some of the worst shit that you experienced or seen in there? Man, niggas lying, motherfuckers being poor in that bitch, begging and stealing. Or what's really fucked up, you have a tough-ass nigga in your unit. And he'd be a whole fag. I mean, not to be like that, but like you'd be like, this yeah. nigga gangsta as hell, but he outside with some some new young white guy who'd rode in. He walking the yard with this nigga in the morning. That's you like crazy. that? Ain't and that then, crazy? Low key, low key. Not even, not even you. Not to forget about the ones that's going on visits. That's what I was gonna say. Then you gonna go out on your visit to your family like you a real nigga, kiss crazy. your girl in the mouth. And all this shit, hug your kids, shit and then here crazy. you go with a motherfucking nigga, man. That shit, shit crazy. crazy. No, it fucked me up. Like, niggas being in the shower at night together, like. Whole nother world. That shit crazy. Whole nother world. So what was your, your first day like when you when you touched down? What what did you do? Your man, first day? the first day, it was crazy is that I thought I was going to go eat and shit. The first thing I did, I got some motherfucking fast food. And got me some motherfucking action and, and got drunk. I went to bar seven, got drunk, and it fucked my whole night up. I was drinking like I could still drink and was sick as hell Dude. for two days. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, knowing good and damn well, Dude, yo, I fucked ass myself been sober up. For, yeah. yeah, for three years, though. Yeah, type shit. it was cool. Like, I was just happy to be around my family and shit. That's really. Real.